access through the MonaVista drop-down menu, Platform Image Builder helps developers prepare before integrating applications by addressing questions such as, how do I optimize my different file systems for their individual strengths? How can I easily pare them down for my... Platform Image Builder answers these questions and more. The MonaVista Linux editions are package-based distributions whereby you can either use command line and RPM or benefit from Platform Image Builder to more easily and efficiently select those packages you need for your particular device. You can filter through over 20 different groups in order to drill down into particular sets of packages. If you select a package and there is more recent version of that package available, you can have the option to either use the latest or continue with the version you're using. And as I select individual packages, Platform Image Builder resolves any dependencies and notifies me of any conflicts. Down in the Packages Properties tab, you get details including description, general information on properties and their values, what files are included, and which ones are required for a particular package. You can see which files are provided and any conflicts that are found. When making package selections, it is possible to select packages that conflict with one another, and since this results in errors, Platform Image Builder flags and lists all conflicts as errors, making it easy to review and resolve them. I can even drill down to specific files. This is particularly important for resource-constrained environments such as mobile devices and consumer electronics. This is where I want to include those files. As I'm making changes to the file system, my selected packages and dependencies are updated dynamically here. Additionally, when compiling for a resource-constrained target, many of these packages need to be compiled for the features to work, but I might not want them all installed as part of my file system. Platform Image Builder gives me the ability to mark packages as phantom so they compile but will not